When I was in my last year of the college, everyone was talking about placements, getting a job. And I was clueless. I was clueless that what I will do with my life. I had no idea that what I'm good with and why people or the company should hire me. So I thought okay, I should be working on my skills. So I I pick a language, programming language obviously, and I started learning it. So how i would learn that was the biggest question so i google it because i knew how to google things i was very good at finding things on the google so i was using that power so i googled it and i found a lot of sites which was providing knowledge for free i was amazed to see how easily high quality content was available for free it was not pirated obviously there was you know paid courses which was which i was getting as a pirated course as well but there was lot of free content high quality free content which i was getting for free as well why i should be going for some pirated stuff so i started learning i pick one resource i i, I think it was in it was a website from where i was learning html so i was learning it i was learning each and every bits of it then i found a series of youtube videos by a, a programmer i forgot the youtube channel name but from there i learned a lot of things i learned a lot of things about html css and and some other programming languages like javascript then suddenly i had you know this euphoria moment sort of i was like okay i can learn this thing maybe i can learn different other things as well from youtube so i thought okay I have interest I because I spend a lot of time with my mobile that would be really cool if cool if I can make you know mobile apps but it's very complex you know that's what I feel that's what I actually felt at that time so what I did is basically again I google it then I found a lot of lot of different courses from where I can learn android application development so I thought okay let's just try one course I took the course and i learned a lot it was st- starting from it was starting from the ground to make you a professional android developer you know when i applied for my internship the ceo of the company was very much impressed with how much i know based on my experience he was impressed with you know how good are my basics but how i did it all thanks to the internet why i'm telling you this because you know after in uh, you know joining my internship i was really thankful to all the people to all the instructors from whom i get to learn i did not know them personally but i was very happy that i got a job i'm getting real money because of them and i will be earning real money in future because of them it's a sort of privilege i would say that we are living in the era of the internet and we should be grateful for it but i thought okay being grat- grateful is not the only thing i should do something about it so i thought okay i will be teaching other people online as well so that's when i started my own youtube channel i had my youtube channel i have tried posting videos for from technical guru ji's blog vlogs and what not but i was not even serious about it so i thought okay i will be helping people with whatever the knowledge that i have at that time i was almost 3 or 4 months of experience on android application development i knew quite a lot of bit of things i created did create projects as well so i thought okay i will try to find something about android which is not easily available or not clearly described on the internet and i will teach it to other people So I thought okay I found one topic and I I was like okay this is the topic I learned and I knew that I can describe it to the people but when I sat there to think that what I will be saying in front of the camera or what I will be saying to my audience that how I'm going to teach it then I thought okay let's do some research and let's also check my knowledge whether I am capable of teaching this thing or not so I went to the internet I did some 5 or 10 minutes research about the topic and I came to understand that I don't know so many things about this. 
then i did some research for half an hour an hour then i understood a lot about the topic that i was going to describe to the people with the con- confidence that i knew this topic and that is the power of teaching my friend because when you teach people you learn to know about things you know about the problems that other may face because when you teach you know that you, you are teaching someone who has no idea about the topic so you know basics really well that's the first thing and you know a lot of trivias about the topic because it's cool to know about the know about the topic ins and outs even if you don't know about the ins and outs but you know something which gives you an edge about the topic and also that topic gets cleared on your mind you don't easily forget it because when i was teaching that topic that topic is still there on my mind i didn't forget because as a software developer or a, or an engineer we learn a lot of things and we keep forgetting things and that's okay that's normal because new things come up and you forget the old things sometime totally but that topic is still stick on my mind because i teach that to the people there is a whole series that i created uh, i think it's called some um, android command line series on the it is available on the youtube but that's not relevant today but it i learned a lot from by teaching so if you are sure about learning a topic you know clearly you should teach people you don't need to get to the online to teach people if you are not comfortable you can teach others there are a lot of suppose you want to you know clear high school maths the best way is to teach people so you just find some student who can't pay fee you can just teach them for free you are actually not only helping them you are also helping yourself as well and by teaching you actually clear things on your mind there is a saying that bantne se badhta hai that means the more you share the more you grow so that's it for today's podcast if you like this podcast don't forget to give five stars from wherever you are listening to and don't forget to subscribe as well and if you have any query or message we are impulse books at facebook instagram and twitter so that's it for today have a good day